Hi, it's Dr. Mike Downs. Welcome to the video. I ran every day for 30 days. To take you back to the beginning of the story, in 2019, I underwent my best transformation, physically and mentally. No cheat meals, 112 days, and I stepped on stage for the very first time. I placed fourth in my first show, and I placed first in my second show, which was incredible. 2020, we're taking it up a notch. 207 days, no cheat meals, and this series, Scott by Science, I'll be sharing everything that I've ever spoke about with regards to the science of diet and training and also incorporating my lifestyle and basically applying the science. So for the first episode, I decided to document 30 days of weight loss time-lapse transformation of running on a treadmill. Let's kick it off. In my three years of dieting and training, cardio ranks as one of the most important tools for fat loss. Over the next 30 days, I incorporated high intensity interval training also known as HIT, a cardiovascular exercise strategy alternating with short periods of intense anaerobic exercise, basically where you're running as hard as you can, with less intensive recovery periods where you're catching your breath, until you're too exhausted to continue, and low intensity steady state cardio, which is the opposite of HIT as the name suggests. Why I did this was because of a particular study. But before we dive in, a lot of time, research and editing went into making this video. Just do me one favor, if you wouldn't mind, gently hit the like button, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're new. Let's kick it off. A study conducted by scientists at the California State University with college men and women found that subjects that ran a 10 minute mile burned 190 calories. Subjects that walked a 19 minute mile burned fewer calories, of course, but not as few as you may think, about 111 calories. It would be criminal to your progress not to add a 20 minute walk to your daily routine and burn that extra 100 plus calories. Walking may not burn many calories, but the science has shown that the calories it does burn comes primarily from fat stores. Over the next 30 days, I lost the total amount of 10.8 pounds. How did I do that exactly? Well, considering our current situation, being confined to our homes, I set a goal for myself of doing at least 12,000 steps on the treadmill. However, I do have a Chow Chow Blue who I have to take out to use the loo and to get some exercise, so my total daily steps was a little bit more than 12,000. On top of that, to ensure the results I wanted, it's imperative that I had my diet in check enough for me to fuel my workouts and to also make me happy. So that was a total of 2,650 calories, 200 grams of protein to make sure or give me the best chance of being able to hold on to as much muscle as possible. Also, I had 350 grams of carbs that fueled my workouts and also being able to get the steps in and 50 grams of fat to maintain hormonal balance, which left me happy at the end of the day. On top of that, in terms of resistance training, as you guys know, I love training, it included a pair of dumbbells and some resistance bands. You guys won't imagine how much progress you can make with the bare minimum, but that's exactly what I used. And this is my 30 day transformation. So the total results, as I did mention, I lost a total of 10.8 pounds. We started off at 200.6 pounds as you're seeing here on the screen and we moved all the way down at my lowest weighing at 198.8 pounds, which is essentially what we're striving for when we're looking to drop weight is that 
two pounds per week rate. In total, we did 460,000 plus steps to be able to reach that goal. I thought that would be something interesting for you guys to take away. All in all, I was happy, I was in a better mood. And as I'm preparing for my final exams, hopefully they happen next month considering our current situation, it helped me a lot better in terms of being able to memorize, and do a lot of the work that I needed to studying for my final exams before we finally are done with medical school next month. So that is the result of running every day for 30 days, episode one of Scott by Science. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering, what is Scott by Science? I've teased it in the past, this is my project triple X. This is my first company, this is my baby. In essence, graduating next month as a doctor. What am I going to do? Am I gonna specialize? I've always dreamed of maybe doing cardiology or plastic surgery, but you guys know that I've always just loved helping. That is what's brought me joy. Selfishly, that is what I enjoy doing. I love helping people. And I've been able to do it through this channel. However, I wanted to take that a step further. With all the science and the research and the transformations I've done in my life, I want to be able to impact as many people as possible. And that is what Sculpt by Science is. In essence, I want to coach you, but it is integrated with an app. It is integrated with having me by your side and implementing all the scientific knowledge in terms of building the diets and building training programs for you at home when the gyms open up under any circumstance. It doesn't matter if you're 40, 50, 60, 70, or if you're a teenager, Sculpt by Science will be able to help you transform your body. In essence, transformation specialist. That's what Sculpt by Science is. But I hope that when it comes out, it should be within the week or next, I'll be able to coach you guys, being able to help you guys reach your goals something I'm very excited about. I have a goal in my mind to transform 100 plus bodies this year. And that is one I wanna spend my year doing and building. But I'll leave it there. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know if you have more questions about Sculpt by Science or about the video in, its, in itself. But I'll leave it there. Smash the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.